Well, hi there, Amp Builders. This is Fred B. Back at my bench. And I've been posting a lot about uh, the improvements I've made to phase inverter circuitry. And what we're looking at here is basically the phase inverter from a 5E3 3 Deluxe with my improvements incorporated. The top trace is the output of the booster stage and the second trace is the output of the non-inverting cathodine from the cathode of the uh, cathodine. So what I have done here, if I turn the gain up on the signal generator You'll see the top trace starting to clip there. And the bottom trace, which is the output from the cathodon, faithfully tracking the output of the booster stage. Now, what the difference is here, if I put this back to the way a normal normal 5E3, a standard 5E3 phase inverter, and this is what happens there. You see the output of the booster stage not clipping but the output of the cathodyne cutting off here. And thanks to Merlin, I know that the cathodyne operates under heavy negative feedback. So when it cuts off here, we get these sharp corners. And this is a transistor-like clipping that sounds very harsh. And one of Paul C, the Paul C mod was specifically made to reduce this type of clipping. Alright, let's go back, see if I can get this back to where. Yeah, there we go. Now if we switch our outputs, yeah, we're looking at We are looking at the output of the inverting and non-inverting portions of the cathodine. And you can see that they are very well matched as we would expect from a cathodine. And that that represents an input signal into the booster stage of about 8 volts. And the cathodine portion of the 5E3 phase inverter is not clipping or saturating at all. And that is my my idea of ideal phase inverter behavior. So that's uh, pretty much what I wanted to show you. And here, this would be the signal, the peak to peak signal going to the power tubes. And that's uh, 20 volts per, per division. So we've got a 30 volt positive swing and 60 volt negative swing. Now of course if the waveform going into the booster stage is already clipped and you don't you avoid turning the signal up so high that it starts clipping again in, in the booster stage for the phase inverter, it's going to faithfully track whatever input signal you put in. Alrighty then, that wraps up what I wanted to show you here. Thanks for watching.